Hello everyone. Today we are going to be playing a mirror match in the Ruby Amethyst control deck. And we have ZD featuring uh, playing with us today. And it will be very interesting to see how the mirror match goes. Um, I will really quickly just explain the mirror match and the deck i'll be running i am going to be running a 68 card deck ruby amethyst with shield of virtue uh the broom package and just uh pretty much everything in the control deck and i think zd is going to be running a 60 card deck and we are just testing out to see how a 60 card uh, matches up to a 68 card deck let me just quickly uh, let ZD know what the uh, um, uh, game name will be. And then I will also stream this on the Elsa channel in the Lorcana uh, Discord. Um, let's see. Um, game name is... Uh, JLZD. Um, we won't have timers on. Um, and then I will get the stream on Discord happening as well. Um, Awesome. All right. We are oh we are streaming on Discord as well. I will just turn off the sound on Discord. There we go. So I can't hear anything. Um and but people can still hear me. And I will just let <laughs> Uh, let's see. Cool. Let's get going. All right. Good game. Good luck. Um, in a mirror match, we want Inkables and we want Cauldron and Mirror. So we're going to mulligan like this. Going first is always nice. Uh, we did not get a mirror, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. But we have the Cauldron, so let's see how this matchup goes. They ink a dragon, huh? Okay, well, I'm gonna play out the cauldron and try to find our mirror. Pongo is an inkable card, so that is fine with us. They're probably gonna have a mirror, right? Nope, they also have a cauldron. Okay, let's just hope that they don't draw into a mirror. Or if they don't have one already. <laughs> okay. Yes. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Um, we're going to actually pass and not play out the um, Maleficent. Because we know we're drawing into a mirror. Um, and so it's something that we can ink. I really don't want to ink the pocket watches. They're playing out the Maleficent. And this is the part of like just having a little bit not enough inkables. We have to take the other mirror. Um, well, 
Inca Maleficent and we'll play out the mirror. And we'll pass. So we are sacrificing some um, early game lore, but this is one of the hands that we started out where we, we couldn't really do anything about trying to pressure early game. So we are just going to focus on getting inkables and getting um, hard draw. Maleficent's fine. I guess we'll draw and we'll ink a Maleficent and we'll say pass. They are going to be <coughs> off to the races. So this game might hinge upon will we be able to get a be prepared on time. Man, two pongos, huh? Yeah, I guess we're looking for to be prepared. Uh, anything on discard? Nada. Okay, well, that's good. We'll take that. Um, yeah. Let's so ink another Maleficent and play out another Magic Mirror. Alright, let's see if we can grab something useful. Maui's not super useful. We don't need another mirror, but Maui at least gives us an ink. Huh? We do have to dragon fire that and we're gonna pass. is unfortunate. It might come down to just not being able to draw D. Be prepared. At least the good news is all of the Ursulas are going to be pretty useless this game. Let's see. What do we do here? We have our own Pongo. Um... Do want to kill their Maleficent, I think? Do we? I think we want to... No. What do we want to do here? I think we have to run out in Elsa. Um, gonna draw into a Pongo. Ink something, draw something, just pass. Putting them up to 15. Yeah, okay. Go for it. I think this game, I'll need to try to like stabilize. Like, I think only a be prepared does it. Rifting is still okay here. That's not bad. Back down to 14. There's a be prepared. Um, in that case, we're probably going to ink the Pongo. Play out an Elsa. And pass. Fine. Do not mind that at all. Got card draw. I think we take card draw. Um, 
well, ink in Aladdin. We'll play out and grab some more cards. Now the Pongo. It's good. 17 scary. Um. Holy. Shoot. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh, you see, even after all this time, you still make uh, mistakes. It's okay. I should have played a friend on the other side first. Um. It is okay. Seventeen. Two seventeen. Scary, scary, scary. That's nice. Shield, be prepared. We take the be prepared. We need to stabilize. Need to kill the Pongo. Um, we will. Aladdin cannot kill the brooms right now. Ah, I guess that gives them an Ursula turn. Ursula is fine. If they play an Ursula, I'm actually not too unhappy about it. Goofy. Okay. Well, we continue to need to draw into our removal. Inca Pascal. Draw. Draw. Quest. We just end up. Killing the Goofy and pass. Mickey Mouse. Okay. I think that does it for us. Um... Is there anything we could do here? Nope, that doesn't do it. Good game. That was that was rough. Um All right. To know. Hmm. Trying to think. Maybe I should have kept that opening be preferred there. It was just so many turns of not being able to deal with their board. Um, but that's also like I, I needed the items there. I just wasn't able to stabilize fast enough. Well, I got lucky again, going first. We got some card draw. Once again, we need the mirrors. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of one more lift and just increase our chance of drawing into the mirrors. Okay, this isn't bad. Um, in the owl, that's. Nice. Well, we got our um, removal this game. So now it's just a matter of getting to the mirrors. Speak of the devil. So I think this is as good of a start you can get in the mirror match. So let's see how I do. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. Um, Let's get the mirror online. Probably going to play on Maleficent. Give it the inked one. And then... Hard draw. I mean, ink. We want the LeFou. Um, hmm. We want to play, be prepared, clear out the board. So I think we just friends. Nice. And ink the LeFou. Pass. Really happy to join to Rafiki so I could just kill off the Maleficent. And we we still have a ton of ink too. They got the mirror too. Um let's see. We want the Pongo for ink. Um we will play out the Rafiki and take out the Maleficent and pass. As long as we have something to ink, I'm not super worried about card draw for now. Um, but eventually we want more card draw and try to magic mirror every single turn. That is fine. We have a dragon fire if we need it. Pongo is not going to be able to take care of that. So we just draw, quest, and pass. Once again, I'm not super concerned about early lore gain, so feel free to quest with the Goofy a couple of times. Um, You want to continue to search for answers for everything, though. Ink the Maui. Hodrin, nice. We'll take the other mirror. Drop down another mirror. And continue the quest with the Rafiki. Ideally, if we can get to turn 9, I'd much rather um, play a Maleficent on the Goofy than having to Dragon Fire. But we get lots of card draw. Nice. More card draw. Take that. Inka LeFou. Draw all of the cards. I'm also not super worried right now until my opponent plays out Pocket Watch. So, Hence, uh, being a little bit more reckless with the Rafikis is okay at this point. There's nothing opponents can do to really make me 
not want to quest. Cool, cool, cool. Um, nice. We'll definitely grab the shield. Um, Inca Gaston. Uh, and honestly, at this point, I am going to continue to draw. Continue to draw. That's another advantage of uh, playing more than 60 cards. Um, I'm, I don't feel the need as much to ink um, the friends on the other sides. Um, and I can just play them to get card draw. Ink the Maui. Um, take a look. None of this is super useful, but I'll take the Aladdin. Um, and then is this the point to start to deal with opponent's board state? Um, likely if I play a Maleficent, they're going to play a Maleficent back. I'm, I'm actually going to draw a card. Um, did I ink already? I did. I am going to I have a bunch of friends on the other sides. Can return a friends on the other side. No. Um this is Dragonfire. Um and play out a pongo and see what my opponent does in quest. Shield, okay. Fair enough. That's good. I'll take that removal. Um, that's not so good. You know what? I wonder if we can start pressuring them to have to get rid of their own evasives. Um, for example, if we just drew a card. Ink the Archimedes. Um, play out a Pongo. Quest. Quest. And play out a Broom. Pass. Be prepared. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, that means I can take out their pongo. Oh, well, no, I can't. Dragon fire on the pongo, huh? Okay. It's fine. Um, let's see. We got another dragon fire. We'll definitely take the dragon fire here. Um, thinking we probably ink the Pascal. Play out an Aladdin. Or I could play out a Jafar. Kind of like the Jafar play. Um, quest, quest, draw card, and pass.
12. So next turn, okay, that Aladdin's got to go, um, filter first, Jafar is nice, Archimedes is in ink, I'll take the Jafar over the Archimedes, um, Anything we want to ink? No, we'll no, no, yeah, we will ink the Jafar. Play Maleficent, kill that, and then quest with everything. Go for it. Probably gonna see a be prepared come down here. Yep. Totally fine with me. Gives us a chance to draw into some of our answers, I guess. Um Latin's good. Two Aladdin's. Um, don't really want to ink the Mickey. I guess we'll ink an Aladdin. And then draw. Do we have anything in the discard that we want? A Maleficent. Um, we'll draw first though. Nice. Exactly what we want to see. So I think next turn we want to... Start pressuring with our Elsa. No, Elsa needs opponents, probably gonna have an Elsa sometime. So, um, so let's once again draw cards. So, we want to be prepared, that's nice. Um, we play out to be prepared. This is one of those cases where I think I want to play out the Maleficent for card draw. Um, and then draw a card and ink a Maleficent. And pass. Mickey. Okay, well, we got the dragon fire for the Mickey. Got another Maleficent to deal with situations. Um, don't really want to ink any of these, but I'll probably ink an Aladdin and play out a Rafiki. They are at 11, right? So I'm actually not going to quest. Um, specifically, once you hit 11, you get the Aladdin Pocket Watch Rush immediately. They're returning some more Mickeys, huh? Okay. I can tap them down. I can tap the broom down. I think that's a decent play. Um, and we'll quest with the Rafiki. I'm 
tap the Rafiki. Grab another Maleficent. Um. Good question. What do I ink? Um, I don't think I ink anything. I just pass. See what the opponent does here. Elsa, fair enough. Untap the broom. Okay, um, so this is a case where we just, um, we prepared everything, right? Um, and then we start returning some stuff and work on our broom shenanigans here. Uh, return a broom, a filter, we'll take an, uh, we have two Aladdins in hand, we'll take the Pongo. Draw a Pongo, draw a queen that we can ink, um, and draw some more stuff. Ursula, Ursula, Ursula. All right. Um, Ursula needs to be taken care of. Uh, we ink the Archimedes. Um, we quest with the brooms and we ready the brooms. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think, oh. Pocket watch is good too. I think pocket watch is more important than the shield. Okay, we'll take the pocket watch. Um, and then we'll pass. Okay. Elsa. Should I do Mickey Brooms here? Elsa, Mickey Brooms. Take out the Elsa. Oh, I don't have any pocket watches. Can't do that anyways. Okay. Well, um, in that case, Maleficent. Um, Aladdin. Attack. Get to 19. No, because I don't have. Okay, so if I'm Maleficent attacked, re ready to Maleficent, my Maleficent would still be tapped, huh? Um, do we untap or do we just play another B? But how many B preferreds do we have left in our deck? Two. So that's one, and we have one more. I think we just be prepared and set up. Yeah. A 
Let's see. Draw some more cards. Aladdin's nice. We'll take the Aladdin. Can ink a Pascal. Play out our Aladdin. Can lose a lore. Play out our Ursulas. Um, and grab an Elsa to the top of our deck and pass. Okay. Still gonna catch up, but need to try to catch up on lore, which is good for us because once we hit 19, it is um, the point where we can start attacking two things with our Aladdin. We're not as afraid of leaving things on board here. Cool, they don't do anything. Um, I think that means that we just quest, ready, got some removal. Um, we, ha we have a Maleficent already, so I think we want to be prepared. Um, draw, grab another pocket watch, I guess. Uh, Pongo's inkable. Let's grab the inkable card. What more ink? Give us more ink. Draw, and then we will. Do we have any brooms in our discard? We do. So we will return the brooms. And we'll pass. We have one more shield. That would be really nice. Um, to have. The jarring. Nice. Okay, so... Got the brooms. Nope, never lucky. Was trying to grab the pocket watch. I mean, uh, the shield. But this is inkable. Um, I think all of our brooms is now okay. Nowhere to be found. So we drop that. Uh, and once again, we'll just quest and re-ready and we'll pass. It would have been really nice if I could quest with both of these and re-ready to get to 16, but if you don't get the shield, can't do it. Um, and I'm just not leaving anything exerted for an opponent to run into with an Aladdin. If they have the Elsa-Aladdin combo, go for it. Um, but... If they don't, um, then at least I, they, they won't be able to swing in with Justin Aladdin. Um, we got the removal for the Mickey. Um, there's a shield, there's a broom. I'm actually gonna take the shield over the broom, surprisingly enough. Grab the shield, play out the Maleficent, um, and now we can quest with both of these. And we do not need a Pongo anymore. Um, and we'll filter. I will take another Aladdin. And pass. Probably need to be prepared here. Um, uh, 
they got the pocket watch down, so they can rush with the Aladdin now. But I've always been kind of playing around the fact that my opponent has a pocket watch whenever they need it. Um, so now we just do our broom shenanigans, right? Um, so we'll just return to brooms um, and we'll filter. Uh, we will draw that brooms actually. And we'll filter again. Uh, that's ink. Um, and we'll. You know what? It might be interesting if I played another brooms. Yeah. They're not to the point where they can Elsa brooms yet. So. And we know we have one more brooms. Yeah, so I should have played a brooms first. Um, we will return a Elsa back into our deck. Um, and then because we know we have a broom, so I just draw something. Uh, and we'll draw. Nice, we got the brooms. We'll pass. So now we have two brooms on board. And every single turn, we're just going to quest for two unless opponent removes it in which case we just play out the brooms and get the both of the brooms back again so that's that's the power of having two shield of virtues here um and that's partially why i do run the two shields they're just gonna kill one okay they're just gonna kill one brooms that's fine with me i think that's game oh no i can't untap with the brooms um, if I could, it would have been game, but we just Elsa. Whenever opponent does the Elsa broom combo or Elsa Aladdin combo, we just do it right back. Um, shoot. Now that I think about it, I probably should have attacked. Um, untap and attack with the brooms. Do I ha still have enough? Um, three. So I need to ink something, huh? Uh, what do I ink? What do I ink? I don't think we need a Mickey anymore. We ink the Mickey. Okay. So that was too fast on my end. We want to um provide fewer targets without the um without opponent playing an Elsa. So this way it doesn't leave any targets. Whereas if I attacked with the Elsa and the Aladdin, the Elsa remains untapped or remains exerted, which means that opponent can just play another Aladdin and swing into Elsa. This way this way they have to deal with an unexerted character. Um, we have two brooms in the discard, right? Uh, yes, we have two brooms, so we don't have anything that we really want to bring back or that we want to put on top for our deck. Cool. Yeah, so now it's just going to be a matter of we're going to have two We still have a be prepared. I mean, that's game though. Yeah, I just play out the Elsa. Tap down to Ursula. Oh, oh, oh. What second there? I thought the game froze. And that's GG. That was long game, but game two. Uh, or we are tied.
Okay, this time I think he, he will go first. CD, and we'll see how we do when we are not going first. Going first is such a luxury, honestly. Two shields. They're good, but I don't think that's what we want in the starting hand. No. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta mull everything. Let's hopefully get something better. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Um... Uh... Uh, what do we do here? We can pray to the top deck guard gods for a uh, a mirror or a cauldron. Seventeen cards, not a single one of our six mirrors or cauldrons in sight. It's rough, 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 rough. Maybe we can put some early game pressure. No. Yes, no. I'm trying to decide if I want to play out the pine gold right now. No, I think we just play this smart end. We also don't have any ways of filtering out our uninkables without the cauldrons, so we're probably going to start filling our hand with a bunch of uninkables. Okay, pine gold. Nothing on turn two. Very happy if opponent is pl playing against the mirror. My opponent also didn't didn't play any items. And yeah, but they got some card draw. The Maleficence. Oof, that's rough. Also, I was almost tempted to play out the Aladdin, but I will persist on. Playing for ink and late game value. We have some removal. But we, yeah, we also didn't draw ink to a single Maleficent or friends on the other side, which I would have kept too. Right, so we are starting to draw into. Pongo is really nice, honestly, here. Just to buy us a little bit more time. It's an ink. And I feel like we've seen how strong the Maleficents are against this deck. Nah, we have to play out Pongo. It's to um, provide a little bit of void presence. Yeah, sometimes when you play Ruby Amethyst, you live by the mirror, you die by the mirror. So nice. Okay, Dragonfire honestly is fine for us to see. Um, that's also a nice card. Um. We have three brooms. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll keep the broom as long as I can. Um, I feel like I have to run out the Bowie. Just start smashing away at things. Only saving grace is that my opponent also does not have a magic mirror. Did I speak too soon? Okay, just so freaky. Okay, that's fine. At least we get some card draw. Dig. Dig like our lives depend on it. Well, we got, um... We got a be prepared next turn. Uh, 
That's rough. Man. Shield. It's inkable. One of our two. I'd rather ink a shield than ink a broom. And we will we won't quest with the Maleficent. We we'll just stay at a save zero lord to prevent any Ursula value. There. Let's play out a pongo. Um well, we only have one shield, so we can ink a broom because we'll never get both of our broom combos going. Um, we will play out dragon fire and pass. I feel like this is one of those games where the first person to draw into like a mirror or a cauldron will have significant advantage here. Um. It's pretty bad. Rafiki only quests for one though. So I think we just ink a Jafar and pass. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. That's not good to see. Didn't really need our Mickey. Um, so I guess we'll ink, ink him, and pass. Okay, okay, okay. The mirror. It is merciful for now. Do we want to return? Yeah, we want to return to be prepared. We want to do something. Okay. We got the Elsas for some more stall. Um. So. Uh, dragon? Looks like a dragon. No, okay. Draw cards. Oh, I want to play all of this. I think the principled play is to ink the Aladdin, though, and play the pocket watch. We're, we're living on the edge here. We are living on the edge. Yeah, opponent is just at a fifteen. Okay, okay, okay. That's also nice. Aladdin is a great card to see. Um, just continue to ink and pass. Opponent at 16. That's crazy. I mean, at least we get a little bit of buffer space now. Take the other mirror. Um, Rafiki, eh, request. Right now, they need 11 ink for an Aladdin pocket watch combo, so they are not quite at 11 ink. Ursula, as expected. So we kind of need to tap down the Ursula, right? They quest with Ursula. They go to 17. 
We got some be prepared coming up. That's nice. I feel like if we Elsa pocket watch and kill it. I think that's probably the best play. And then play out another mirror. We really need to stabilize here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Aladdin can kill Elsa or Broom anyways. Oh, they stir at 9. Okay. So, that's totally fine. They still don't have the 11 ink needed. Okay. That's fair. Goofy. Uh, we are gonna start drawing some cards. Um, and inking some cards. They are at 10 now, so I am not gonna quest. It's nice. Two, back to 14. <laughs> Another Ursula. Could tap both down. We don't have okay. We don't have enough there. Um, think this is gonna be a be prepared turn. So we're just gonna draw cards. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's still gonna be a be prepared turn. If one has two. Two things on their side of the field. Aladdin's nice. I think I want... Yeah, Aladdin's nice. LeFou is ink, but we have an Archimedes right now. Yeah, I think we just ink the Archimedes. Um, quest with the broom. Player be prepared. Draw a card and play out another mirror and pass. Aladdin. I mean, they could have a shield, but unless they have a shield, they really can't quest with the Aladdin, right? Um, Definitely take the Pascal to ink. So the question is, do we draw cards or do we kill it with the Maleficent? Um, even if they have a shield, I can Elsa Aladdin next turn. I think we want to draw cards. Okay. And if opponent plays a shield, then it's very nice for them. Okay, they don't. So that means we just get to swing in with our Aladdin and turn back the tides of the lore game. Uh, we'll grab ink, inkable, and we'll just keep on drawing more cards. Still add a decent number of cards in our deck, so 
man, lots of Ursulas. Um, we have one broom, and we only have one because we inked a broom earlier on in the game. So need to remember that we cannot rely on the brooms. Um, that Ursula needs to die no matter what. Uh, we'll take the shield. Um, and we'll draw. Those are Maleficent. Once again, if they don't have a shield, uh, the quest, we can turn back the sands of time. Um, though, I am getting a little bit worried because early on we had... So, I think... I don't know if we inked in a ladder or not, but that's a good be prepared. Gonna ink a queen. Um... I'm gonna draw, draw, um, say out these things because we kind of need to. Yeah, now I'm kind of regretting inking the Mickey. The Mickey Mouse sorcerer that lets me do the broom recursion stuff. Ah. Uh, don't think we need another pocket watch now and then. Um, yeah, that rough early game is kind of starting to bite us again. But we'll pass. We managed to stabilize a little bit, but it's going to be an uphill climb. Okay, well, we got the other brooms. I think we have a befuddle. If I play out this Aladdin, really won't. Oh man, yeah, no. Um, what to do? What to do? Let's um. Jafar is nice. Jafar can kill the Maleficent. That's all we need Jafar to do. Look at that 11 attack. We will take that. Um, scary, but opponents a long way from 19 ink. Um... We'll grab some more removal, I guess. We need to ink something. I think we ink the Pongo. Um, draw a card. Then play out a broom and then grab back our broom 14 to 24. Yeah, I think we're still pretty far behind here. I would give my winning chances here about like 25 30 percent. Um, if I yeah, Aladdin's good. Um, don't need a queen. We got our own. Oh, we do have another Aladdin. Okay, that's good. Need a kill to Aladdin. It's probably gonna be a Maleficent then. Um, 
press with the brooms and tap the brooms. Uh, more ink, I guess. 12. I'm debating at this point if I should stop drawing so hard. Um, uh, I think we still need to draw. Okay. Opponent still has all of their removal. And that's really the issue. Uh, well, I guess they have two fewer dragon fires. And they didn't? Interesting. Okay. Um... It's no removal here. Need to draw that. Well, ink that, and let's see if we can find like I don't know if we actually have any more removal left in our deck. Um. Probably need to play a be prepared here. Our card. Draw a card, draw a card. Play our Rafiki and pass. We are at 10, so we're not too far behind. I think we have two Elsas. Okay, there's a broom. We have two Elsas and two Aladdins. So that could be a Talar. It's not over yet. Um, let's see what we have. Nothing good. In five cards. Quest with both. Be prepared. Play out a Broom. Yeah, I think that's probably the best play. Play out a broom, return our brooms. Um, filter, mm, yeesh, draw, ink, um, probably play out the Rafiki, and the pocket watch. And the magic mirror, since we don't need to, and pass. Goofy. Okay. We're getting closer. We're inching closer. Um. It's an ink, I guess. LeFou may come in handy. Um, so we quest, quest, be prepared. Um, play out another broom, return our broom. Um, and then play on another Rafiki and pass. Uh, 
They got their magic mirror. Wow, they lasted that whole game without playing a single item. Crazy. Really? They're letting us get to 16. This can be really good. Okay. Getting to 16 is really good. Because now we're just going to bounce back our broom. And we're going to play the broom and bounce back our befuddle. Um... We want to, I guess we'll take the befuddle. Okay, and we'll pass. We have two Elsas and two Aladdins and 16 lore. Oh, but we don't have any be prepared. Um, so if we use a broom to Bounce back of be prepared. It's gonna be high risk, high reward plays here, right? Because essentially we well, no, because they have a lot of evasives. So we can't rely on them to play out any non-evasives later on. So we still have to continue with our loop. Elsa's great. Um, 